Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Bot Cars by Mail package that I bought from Troll and Toad. And there are several generations, Ultra Rare and Radiant Collection cards that I purchased to try and complete the set. So I'll open this up now and then show all the cards I bought. And I, my goal is to complete the set before I do my top 10 video. That way I'll have the entire set to choose from. That seemed to go over quite well when I did that for Breakpoint. So 16 different cards here. And I know there was a complaint when I did a video like this for the Breakpoint set that Troll and Toad does not top load and sleeve their cards. And I can show you that here. All they do, put it in a team bag and then put one top loader in the front. I thought the cards were in pretty good shape last time I ordered them. So I went with them again. For the most part, I didn't get all the cards yet. And these are cards I just haven't pulled in packs yet, but I may. It's always nicer to pull a card out of a pack than have to buy it online, but sometimes it's just a better deal just to go ahead and buy the card. So I'll show all of the different cards here and state how much each one was and take a look at the condition. So the first one here is the Zapdos full art. Now I know a lot of people like this card. This is one of two full arts in the set and this one was $11.99. I found that Generations cards are pretty valuable so far right away. If you watch yesterday's video on how much cards are worth, you'll know how much each of these cards are worth and if I, if I was able to get a good deal on each. So just on, on the back quickly, decent shape. Right on the top you can see some flaking but that's usually the case right out of pack. So there's the Zapdos full art. Next one here is Venusaur EX. This one was $6.49. So there's that one. Here's the shape of the condition on the back. So I can set these aside too and sort of summarize at the end for each one. So Vaporeon EX. I like this card quite well. It reminds me a lot of what Vaporeon would look like in the anime. Vaporeon EX was $7.49. I did buy these cards about a week ago now, so prices have changed since I bought them. So here's the Sylveon EX Full Art, another card a lot of people like. And Sylveon EX Full Art was $13.99. The reason I know which cards people like and which cards people don't is because I have that Generations Pokemon card give giveaway going on, and all you have to do to be eligible is to state what your favorite card is and then subscribe to my YouTube channel and like the video. But here's the Sylveon EX and this one was $5.99. So of course in Generations there's Radiant Collection, the subset in there, and then there's regular um, Generations cards. This one's Swablu. Blue. Surprisingly I needed this card, just a common, to complete the Radiant Collection subset. And this one was pretty expensive, it was only a quarter. And another Radiant Collection card I needed, surprisingly, this Raichu, which isn't uncommon, was pretty expensive for an uncommon, it was $1.99. Now we're back on to Ultra Rares again, this Meowstic EX. This one is $4.49. So there's that one. Next up here is Mega Venusaur EX. I like this card quite a bit. And this one was $11.99. And again, the condition on the back, so far I've been pretty happy with all of these. I'd say near mint to mint condition easily. Okay, next up, another fan favorite, Leafeon EX. I prefer the Vaporeon just a little bit more, of course, because it is one of the original three EV evolutions. Leafeon EX, I bought for. $12.99 and of course Jolteon EX is way more valuable than any of the other EX cards in this set, regular EX. So here's Jirachi and this one is an Uncommon Radiant Collection card. This one was 79 cents. That's my goal is to complete the Ultra Rare Secret Rare portion of this set as well as the Radiant Collection subset. So I'll set that one aside. Next up Golem EX and there's a few people out there that really like this Golem EX. Pretty cheap value wise. I had to buy this one for $4.99. And then here's another Radiant Collection card. Some people do like this card as well, Frostlass. I like a lot of these uncommon cards because they're normally rare in other sets. But this Frostlass was $0.29, cents, so pretty cheap card right there. 
Here is one of my favorite ones, Charizard EX. I really hope to pull both Mega Charizard and this Charizard in one of the Generations booster packs I've left to open up. Bought 25 to open up. I've only opened up, I believe, nine of them. So plenty more to go, and it'd be nice to have multiples of these Generation cards. This one's $24.99. And then the second to last card that I bought, Blastoise EX. This one, it was $7.29. I really like all of these cards. I'm really excited for Generations. And then the last card here that I had to purchase was the Articuno Full Art. And this one was $11.99. So there you have it, 16 cards in total. I had to purchase 7 EX cards. Two full art cards, one Sylvia, one EX card from Radiant Collection, one EX full art card from Radiant Collection, and then four Radiant Collection non ultra rare cards. But like I said, I had the How Much Are Generations Pokemon Cards Worth video done yesterday, and then next week I'll be doing a top 10. The following week I will be doing the complete ultra rare set in the generation set and then the following week I'll be showing the complete Radiant Collection set. So thanks everyone for watching. As always before you go check out all the links in the description of this video including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.